It's raining. Happy Saturday. I'm gonna go get coffee. Guys, I feel like we've had a whirlwind of 24 hours. I didn't even vlog. We went to Naperville last night and we're gonna have dinner with Blake's family. And then his niece ended up in the emergency room. She's totally fine. But, so we ended up making food, taking it to Blake's brother and his wife's house. Oh, it's like raining now. That's cool. And then going and taking it to the emergency room. Then we were like, honestly, let's just drive back to the city. Because we were either going to drive back last night or early this morning. And honestly, like, I'm kind of glad we just came back to the city. I'm not going to lie. Because I always sleep weird in Naperville. Which I still don't understand why. I honestly think it's just like the different energy. Because that room is set up really well. We sleep in this room that's like in the like a far corner of Blake's house. We were in club there is that Casey and Ryan? Sorry, I ran into my friends. Hey Casey, if you're watching this. Um, but anyways. Um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. So, came back to the city. And now we're here. And I'm going to yoga at 1045. And did your mom respond to my text? Uh, she loved it. No, I, I texted her this morning. Oh, on my phone? No, on my phone. Oh, I don't know. I just... Right before we left, I just said, are there any updates? I haven't looked at your phone. Oh. No, in our group chat. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Um, but anyways, I'm excited for coffee. And I'm excited for yoga. And then our task is putting some sort of an organizational system in place for our closet because like the thing is is we know where everything is but it's just really not aesthetically pleasing and it's also just like I don't think it ever is going to be aesthetically pleasing because I'm not about to go to the container store and drop $2,000 on um, compartments. But we're also not going to do like built-in shelves. Or yeah it'd be one thing if we could do like built-ins but I mostly just want it to be more easily navigable and like more intuitive you know. I don't know if it's because it's the end of winter or what but I just feel like I'm like at this point where I feel like I just woke up constantly like I just feel groggy and tired I mean I also didn't sleep well last night but like I don't know when I was in Naperville since I'm on my honey kick I got this natural creamed honey raw and local from Naperville I'm gonna put it in my coffee right now off to yoga. Just got done with yoga. We're on a journey. We're going to Crate and Barrel and the container store. And guys, my skin has been really dry from my tretinoin. Um, and then I got a stress sit last night, so. But since it's been really dry, I have Sysoplast on and I am reminded why I love this product. It's so hydrating. And good and it doesn't like break sensitive skin out um i had to sit before no what because your skin's getting dry do you space it out more yes okay. yes definitely um but i find that it's not necessarily about the like the frequency it's about how much i'm using oh, really? so yeah yeah um so i try to use less This is what we have, is Tobin. Okay, we went to Crate and Barrel, Aldi, and Home Depot. Um, we also went to the container store, but we th we're convinced that this is the exact same thing, just without the container store logo. Okay, so we took everything out of the closet. Not everything, we actually still have a lot to deal with, but we just put this up. And all of this shit is gonna go on there. So let's do it. Okay guys, it's definitely not perfect. It is a lot better than it once was and it makes a lot of sense. I know where everything is and it feels a lot better. We're getting rid of all of that shit and I'm selling that. Steak Saturday, baby. And the steak is cooking. 
in the kitchen. How's your day been, Blake? Great. I feel like we've had a really good day. It's all day. Except I've been so tired all day. I want to check my aura and see how much I slept last night. I feel like I didn't sleep much. Because we came back and then I was just like kind of out of it. Okay, yeah, so I still slept for seven and a half hours, but I only got an hour of REM sleep, and I usually get um, two hours of REM. So that's why it was weird. We're gonna finish This Is 40 tonight. That movie's so fucking close. The movie's so fucking funny. We're loving it. In fact, about me, I love this one. This is Blake's, but I love like a sip or two of just plain whiskey. It's so good. That's Angel's Envy. Mm. And like we love old fashions, but um, whiskey's good. It's underrated. Good morning. I look so scary in this lighting. Wow. Um, I just slept until 10 a.m. And I said to Blake, I was like, honestly, I'm gonna sleep as late as I can. Like as late as my body will allow, just because I felt so out of it all day yesterday. 10 a.m., baby. Anyway, sorry, our hallmate was coming out of his um, apartment, and I was like, well, I don't know if I want to be vlogging in front of him. So, anyways, yeah, slept like crazy, which is like wild. And now I'm just walking past everyone right now. So I'm getting really comfortable vlogging in public. That was Brittany Galvin. Did you not notice that? The girl from The Bachelor? Oh. Brittany? So, I guess there's two girls from The Bachelor. The one season that Blake and I watched that live really close to us. And one of them is the girl who everyone was saying was an escort. Who is not. She actually seems like a very nice girl. She does yoga at my yoga studio. And the other one is the one who called her that. So, I don't know why they both live so close to us, but anyways, maybe they watch the vlogs. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> it's like you're talking to yourself. You're it's like because... Just... No, I literally like, I think I'm, the reason I like vlogging so much is because I literally am like the person who just is constantly talking to myself. Like, I just have a lot of internal dialogue going on, you know? Do you? Always. Really? Yeah, but you're always thinking about, like, really random shit. Not that I'm not. But, like, you will say things that I'm like, whoa, that was really out of left field. <laughs> Trying to convince Blake to get us a croissant at La Cologne. And I said I would be happy as a clam. Then I realized, I think I kind of like that phrase. But you have to say it in, like, a weird voice. But I do kind of like it. Happy uh, as a clam. Uh, like, why are clams happy? That guy was also talking to himself. <laughs> he don't know what this was, not he? Or did he have know. AirPods in? I think he, he might have had phone, AirPods in. But he had a hood on, so you couldn't tell. Yeah. I I feel like that was an AirPods. He wasn't giving me like talking to himself vibes. Um. But anyways. Yeah, I, on today's agenda, we're really just chilling like two villains. And I want to make brown butter chocolate cookies and read my book. And Blake and I have decided that we finished This Is 40 finally last night. But we've decided how fun would it be if we just make our way through all of those iconic movies of the 2000s. Like, what are you keep saying wedding crashers but like what wedding other ones crashers. are there um we've watched how to lose a guy them. in 10 days is yeah. one of them yeah, yeah. all those like kind of rom-com fabulous movies fabulous but, like, okay i've seen so many people feeding birds lately like i'm not even kidding you i just saw some woman take a plastic bag out of her bag full of bread and just start dumping it on the ground and I saw a man doing it the other day too and I'm kind of wondering like because like in my opinion like you have to be mentally unwell to do that shit like you're feeding fucking rats with wings pigeons are gross 
But like, am I just not being empathetic? Like, it, it was little mini birds. No, no, but the pigeons were across the street. You know that they were gonna flock over there. The mini birds weren't gonna get any. Are the mini birds, that's what you say I'm like? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not a pigeon though. <laughs> Who's a pigeon that we know? Oh my God, no. We have to go the other way. Look at all of them. Pigeons. Face your fears. I feel like I've talked about this. I hate pigeons. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, top two biggest fears, pigeons is one of them. Um, I hate when they start to fly. Watching them is like torture. Um, no, who's someone that we know that's a pigeon? We're in the cross little alleyway going to the lake. If you don't live in Chicago, to get to the lake, you have to take these underground tunnels. Like just, it literally, you're in there for like two minutes, but it's so crust. Um, oh my God, the sun's out and people are by the lake. Ah, oh, this feels reminiscent of summer. Doesn't it kind of? Yeah. Um, the lake is like kind of cloudy today. Um, guys, this feels so good. We weren't gonna walk by the lake, but then the sun came out, bless you. Anyways, we got our coffees. I did cold brew with half and half. What'd you get? I got an old black and tan, um, and then I added some salted caramel to it. The salted caramel draft, not like just regular caramel. Um, and it's so good. The salted it's caramel so good. draft might be the best coffee ever. You really like it. It's good, but I don't know. I'm telling you, cold brew with half and half and honey is like my kryptonite right now. It's so good. But anyways, my I like. I know the employees at Lock Home because I go so much. And actually, let's be real, I go every day. And Charlie, one of the employees who's worked there since I moved here, he like literally disappeared after Christmas. And Kate and I were like, where did Charlie go? He was there this morning. And it just made my day seeing him and finding out that he's now a manager at the Wicker Park location. So he's still with Lock Home. And he's just moving up the ranks. I love that for him. Um, but they're great. Like, if you ever go to Lock Alone, be extra kind to the employees because they're the best. I'm sure you probably feel the same. Guys, I just had to take out my camera because Blake and I have been talking about this. First of all, we just stopped at Whole Foods. We just started talking about honey and how I'm like in my honey era. And then we were talking about bees and I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna be a beekeeper one day. Like, I feel like, I know I'm obviously gonna have like a gorgeous garden and like have my tomatoes and my zucchini and all of the things, but I kinda wanna get into beekeeping. And so Blake and I were talking about it and I wanna see if this place that I got my cream honey at in Naperville, if they like let you come on site and be with the bees. I just think bees are such great creatures. Blake, do you want to get into it together? Sure. We're literally going to be the couple with the most random hobbies. We like to tango dance and beekeep. And get coffee. And make steak. <laughs> what else do we like to do together? What are our other hobbies as a couple? I mean, we cook together a lot. We get coffee together a lot. We like to go on long walks. I like to go to Costco. We love going to Costco. We love, honestly, we love exploring. Like, that's when we're in our vibe, is like, even when we're traveling, like, and just like literally exploring. Yeah. yeah. Browning butter for our brown butter chocolate chip cookies. Hi guys. We just got back from a little walk. I have my hair in a side braid and I used to be obsessed with the Katniss Everdeen look. Like I would literally do that like every day, freshman year of high school. I lived for it. But anyways, my cookie dough has been doing its thing in the fridge for about, how long do you think, like two hours? Has it? I, I have no idea. Yeah, maybe two, three hours. So, it's nice and frozen, and I use an ice cream scoop. 
and I'm going, or it's nice and refrigerated. And I use an ice cream scoop and I'm just gonna overfill it a little bit. It's kind of harder to scoop when your cookies are, or when your dough is hard, but it's worth it. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna over scoop it a little bit because I like, I like extra large cookies. Um, and then I'm just gonna leave, how many should I leave for us? Two or three? Yeah. Cook two, or bake two, perfect. Bake two or three tonight after dinner because we love having a warm cookie. And freeze the rest. This is supposed to make 16 cookies, but there's no way in hell it's gonna make 16 cookies. Um, since I like bigger ones, probably 12. Anyways, it's been a nice day, honestly. Like, it's been very chill. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Candle at Flow tonight, which I'm excited about, with my friends Kate and Chris. And Blake, what are you gonna do while I'm at Flow, cutie? I'm gonna work. He's gonna work. We're both gonna work. I'm gonna work my body, mind, and soul, and you're gonna work Mind, body, soul. Your fingers on the keyboard. Yes. I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to say, but. Strong fingers. Um, and then we're gonna have like a kind of a Mediterranean-y dinner tonight. We got this lamb. What is it, Blake? Lamb shoulder. Lamb shoulder. So not like what we usually have, which is like just what do we usually have, Blake? Lamb chop or? Yeah, there's what there's a rack of lamb, there's lamb chops, and there is lamb shoulder. That's really cool. What? Or, it's hard. <laughs> this cookie dough, I know. So I think the best. The best is probably a rack of lambs. Which is what we got. Rack of lambs. You can come in. Get in here. With my like turtleneck. Um, and then probably be good. Mm -hmm, I'm good. You gotta come down. Say hello. What? This is not big no. to see like. I know, but. I'm trying to make my salad. Okay, make your food. Um, I honestly kind of want a snack before yoga, but I feel like I'm at the point of no return. Like it's like Where if I eat something, I'm, this is kind of gross, but I'm gonna be gassy. All of class. And I don't. No one wants it. Well, I, I would not let it out. What the hell? There used to be a guy in a yoga class that I would go to here at Ritual. I'm explaining this man right now. And he would fart in class. And it was literally so Hello. gross. And we all, what? Hello. I don't, it wouldn't, you wouldn't hear it, but you could smell it. And if you've ever been to Ritual, you know it's like a hot box in there. How do you know it was the guy? Because I narrowed it down because I would be in class with him all the time. And finally, I narrowed it down to him because he was the only repeat offender. He was the only one who would be in class with me constantly. And I obviously knew it was not myself. And Did you confront him? Yeah, I said, you keep farting. You, sir, are farting in class. And that's gross. I'm not going to faint because of the heat. I'm going to faint because of your fucking toxic fumes that you're emitting. It was gross. No, I never confronted him. He was also, he would also wear leggings and wear um, shorts on top of that. I know people who do that. Why do people do that? Who, who does it benefit? No. Yeah, dude, these cookies, like, I don't know how they served 16. You know what's worse, though? What? Is when guys wear uh, leggings with nothing on top. Seems like something my dad would do. Your dad would wear, like, speed up. No, he doesn't do that anymore. Do yoga? Well, I mean, I don't know. He does yoga alone in his workout room. So. Has he ever went to yoga with just a speedo? 100%.
See, now I'll have fresh cookies all week long. I'm doing a little bit of prep before I leave and I'm making crispy cabbage to go on a tahini kale salad. Um, so I just put olive oil, you can see Blake's, <laughs> olive oil, salt, pepper, and I actually did a little garlic powder. And I'm gonna put this in the oven at 500. I don't know how long I'll do it for until it starts to get crispy. I'll toss it a few times and yeah. Hi guys, back from Flo in like very cozy clothes and making dinner. But I wanted to show you guys. So Blake and I have been doing this book and I actually picked it up at a used bookshop a while ago and we started it and then we didn't really get in like super into it. But we've been doing it every night at dinner. Um, and so what I do is I just put it with like our um, napkins that I always grab so that I never forget it. Um, and it's basically Devotions for Couples um by patrick morley i think regardless of if you're religious it could be a really good book if you're looking to like enrich your relationship i don't know um but it basically just has like a story or it has a lesson so like this one's differences in communication and then it has a story a discussion an application and a prayer and we're loving it so i just thought i would suggest it and yeah, let's make some lamb. Okay. <laughs> Yummers in my tummer. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, thanks for watching this weekend of my life. We're going to eat some cookies and call it a night. So I will see you guys. I'm going to vlog tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.